Are you a pro wrestling fan? Then odds are, at some point in your life, you were a backyard wrestler. In this new series, I'm going to take you through how we came from this to this. It's a long story, covering nearly two decades. But if you're a nostalgic person missing the backyard days of yesteryear and a simpler time of the 90s and early 2000s, this is the story for you. This is Backyard Wrestling Cinema. Welcome to Backyard Wrestling Cinema, season number two, episode one. When we last left off, we were down to three of the original four members, but we had added in two additional roster members, Travis Lee and TLD, in addition to already having Homeboy Joe Slice, Rico DMF, Denver Street, Tommy Thunder, and sometimes the slug. From the very beginning, we set three major goals, to hold a live show, to wrestle in a real ring, and to be on TV. At the end of the last season, we finally made it to public access television. We now had our own TV show. When we announced we were going on TV, we were able to get some of the BWL members, which stood for Budget Wrestling League, which was Rico DMF's old promotion, to come and be a part of the show. The storyline we would lead off with for our TV show was the BWL invasion angle. What is going on? At the time, Rico DMF was the leader of the BWL, but he was simply known as DMF, and his gimmick was that he was a creepy Mr. Rogers type character. Homeboy Joe Slice, a fixture in B4W since the HWF days, was scheduled to get surgery on his knees unrelated to backyard wrestling. It's a hunk of crap. This is crap, you know. He's got the crap. It's just not working for me. You, you give me a jobber. This federation is just, you know, all crap. <laughs> Believe it or not. He was going to be out of action for several months, so we did a storyline where the BWL, who were just coming in, would take him out. And that took place on our very first episode. <laughs> BWL in the ring now. One! Rico, one! Two! He hit it. He got him with a drive-by, but... Homeboy picks up the victory, but... What's going on here? Homeboy going for it again. Oh! Spikes Tommy Lee Danger. One! Two! Three! Beats him again! Be impressing the BWL here. Uh, this does not look good for Homeboy Joe Slice. BWL! Oh! Oh! The bunch of dogs! They are, they are picking apart. This is out of control. Oh, on those ribs! <laughs> He's pulling apart those ribs! Oh, the boot! And super kick. And the big boot by Cobain. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Homeboy already, after a rough match against Tiny Danger, was. The ribs are still not bulldogging them. Unbelievable. The bus. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. How many days are about to. Oh my. He just turned on a B4W. He nailed Homeboy Joe Slice. Two of what we felt our better wrestlers at the time were DMF and Tommy Thunder. So we held the world title match, Tommy Thunder, the defending champion against DMF, the leader of the BWL. You guys got a little nick on your cup. You your cup, don't you? No. DMF looking not impressed at all here. Oh! Right, open up with those left hands by Tommy Thunder, the best in the business. Oh, Rico already on the ground. Tommy Thunder looking to make short work of him without the use of his loaded hey. super oh. chest. Oh. What? <laughs> oh! You shot what? <laughs> Public access, boys. Oh! Chair to the back of Tommy Thunder. Tired of this. What? <laughs> what is he? What is? What is this? Yeah! Rico DMF is back. Yeah! What? 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 Rico DMF. I am Rico. D M F. What? Crown. He nailed it with the crown. What? 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 
checking out. What is this? The free ball! He nailed them! One, two, three! We have a new world champion! As you could see during that match, DMF once again turned back into Rico DMF. So that would lead Rico DMF to be in charge of the BWL, but he now had the B4W title. Should be my shot. I lost to that two-tone jobber over there, whatever the hell he calls himself. I deserve the shot. So later that same show, Tommy Thunder decided he would challenge for the BWL championship against their champion, Cobain. Supposed to be defending my BWL world championship title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Thunder! What? what? Tommy? What? what? Prior to that match, Mac and Cheese would level the playing field and take out a few members of the BWL roster. Then it was time for Cobain versus Tommy Thunder with the BWL Championship on the line. This was especially important to B4W since our championship was now in the hands of the leader of the BWL. Cobain, Cobain having a little too much fun before the match starts. Uh, B4W. <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrifying, taking his head off with knees. Oh, I too. Rolling something. Smashing the ball. What? Knocking the can of water out of Tommy Thunder's hand. <laughs> this isn't even a wrestling bat anymore. Tommy Thunder blocking the water with the uh, sled. Runs out of back the house. Left, right, left. What? <laughs> left, right, left. Jug of water. Oh, God. <laughs> Denver Street coming out. And they pour the rest of the jug of water on Cobain. <laughs> no, watch the big boot into the Canadian concussion. One, two, three, and you're now new BWL World Champion, Tommy Thunder. Well, we have a BWL this is a joke. Tommy Thunder is highly agitated. Oh, well, okay, got Tommy Thunder as a big box and humiliated this BWL for the world champion had enough. They celebrated and had a win in the BWL. Now, looking back, you know, that match is, is a lot of fun to watch because it's just a bunch of kids having fun trying to put on a wrestling show. But at the time, myself and Tommy Thunder were really annoyed because we took this we took this so seriously that the, the fact that it, it kind of devolved into this water fight kind of uh, besmirched <laughs> what we felt our legacy should be. And, uh, we were really annoyed about the match at the time. 20 years later, you're able to look back and see how much fun everybody was having and that it was kind of like this competitive atmosphere that I think was really healthy for us. The next episode was basically an introduction of all the BWL members, and that show was titled Intro the BWL. The main event saw Slug, a B4W original member since the very beginning, taken on Rico DMF for the world title. It would mark the last time Slug would be in a main event program for several, several years. This is that awkward. Oh, wow. Oh, the super chest. No longer loaded. Still effective, however. <laughs> if Slug jumps this far, I'll get a dollar. Oh, he missed him. There goes his chance of a dollar. Kick to the gut. Look at that Rico's rage. Oh, unbelievable move by Rico. This could spell the end for the Slug, and he spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hit the own free fall. No, Rico, reverse. Oh, nailing the free fall. One, two, three. Rico has done it. <laughs> As I mentioned, these shows were taped back to back and this would mark the final time we were ever in Tommy Thunder's backyard.
And to the best of my knowledge, it was actually the last time I ever went into his backyard. I don't know that I ever went back there for anything ever again. It was kind of sad that we were moving on, but it was also cool that we were able to film our TV pilot and first episode in that location, especially because that was really what had become the home for NEW, HWF, and now B4W. The next week, we started running shows at Rico DMF's backyard, which had a makeshift ring left over from the BWL days. We were about to take things to the next level. Not world championship caliber. I am Rico! D. M. What? What? 